Hello everybody, this is me, Sam here from Rube Gaming, and today uh, this is our fifth tutorial on how to develop a bucket plugin. And today we're primarily going to be going over uh, configurations and how to set that up. Okay, so we're going to have a very simple configure uh, thing where we're going to ask the administrator whether we want uh, users to consume coal when they uh, mine, uh, well, mine the stone. So we're going to have the, add a new boolean, so public boolean uh, use curl. And by default, we're going to have it as false. So public boolean use curl false. Um, so now let's on our on enable, we're going to add some new things. So first, we're going to do this dot save default config. So what does that do? Well, that will uh, save a copy of the default config.yml uh, if it's not there. So, in our source, we are going to have to create a new file. So, source new file. And then we're going to call this file name config.yml. And our good old friend WordPad opens up. So, now we're going to add our. Um, configuration. So for this we're just going to add one configuration which is just a boolean. Uh, I'm going to keep it very simple. There are tutorials uh, online on the reference on this but just to give you an idea of how configs work. So we're going to have our use uh, use curl colon true. Okay well, we'll, just, we'll call it false just to keep consistency with our two things. So use curl false. So close that and hit refresh. So what this line here now does, this this save default config, it will uh, create a directory uh, in your plugin uh, folder called superheat, and it will paste this config.yml into it. So that config.yml will literally just have that one line of code, which is use curl false. Okay, but now we want to access this and see what this does. So if uh, this saves up default config, if the player has changed it, and they've set it to true. We want to be able to get this out. So what we're going to do here is do this dot use curl equals uh, this dot get config dot get boolean, and then we call it use curl. So now this will get the uh, the boolean with the uh, string variable, I guess, uh, use curl from our config that went out. So by default, this will just get false, which is what we have up here, so that's all fine. But if the user were to change that to true, uh, then it will get true and set this use curl to true. So, very basically, that's our uh, command set up. We are done in terms of commands, so that will, will work well. But now we actually have to implement this use curl feature. So, that's the command side of this tutorial. Uh, you can see very simple, we can add more commands to it in the book commands, configuration, sorry, add more configurations here and have all sorts of things, but that's the general idea of this that use curl, and then we're just going to get it from the config with the dot, dot uh, the, this dot get config uh, part. Okay, so now let's implement the use curl, so we're going to do this on the on block break. So first we're going to add a uh, new bit here, so if instance dot use Oh, superheat.instance. Use curl. So we haven't actually had any equals here or anything because this is a boolean. This use curl is a boolean. So we literally can just add it here. And if it's true, then it will run this. If it's false, then it won't. So this bit here checks to see if we're going to use curl. So we're going to use curl, and this bit happens here. So let's check the player's inventory, see if they have any curl in their inventory. So event get player dot get inventory dot contains material dot co so if it doesn't contain this then I will return true or return because and then else we're gonna remove it so by doing event get player get inventory remove uh, material cut. 
I hope that only removes one of them. It might possibly remove all the curl, but I believe uh, that should literally just remove one of them. Okay, so there we go. Um, if the server is using the use curl in the config, and uh, if the player doesn't have any curl, then remove else remove it. And that's all we have to do. That's our, literally in four lines. We've done that. Uh, I will just change this actually. But I'm not entirely sure if that removed all the curl. We can actually do an item stack here. So new item stack material curl one. That, that that way we define it as literally an item stack of just one curl. Um, possibly the other way works, but at least I know for now when we test this that work fine. So again, refresh because we've added a new file. We have to sync it. Uh, and we're going to export it. And now let's have a look at our server. So we go to plugins. We've got no folders here, and we've just got super.jar. So now let's run it. Let's uh, start the server up. And uh, let's see if we get any errors. Nope, it's all good. Now we go to our plugins. Oh, a new uh, file folder has been created. Super heat. And in it, we have our config.yml. And the use curl is set to false. So let's change that now to set that to true. And we're going to go here, uh, false. And we're going to set stop here. And we're going to effectively reload the server. I'm not going to do slash reload, but we're going to do it properly. Start and stop it. Oops. So now if we go to our plugin heat, open up config.ml, we can see that it hasn't overwritten and it's kept our uh, trueness there. So that's all good. So now let's go in game and uh, take a look and see if our new information of the use curl works. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the in-game part of uh, this tutorial, tutorial number five on uh, configurations. So in the, uh, the coding part, I guess, we uh, added a new feature where we could use curl uh, by a configuration part. So now let's uh, mine some stone, or well, let's first toggle it on and mine this stone. Oh, we get a uh, cobble. Oh, I wonder why that is. That's because we don't have any cobble. So, set game mode, one, save video. I could probably just give myself curl, but let's just find it. There we go, some curl. And then we'll set myself back to zero again. And we'll toggle it on again. And now let's mine it. Oh, there we go. It's given us stone. So, that has worked well. If it checks to see if we've got curl in inventory, as a result, we can use a uh, superheat again. We weren't noticing that the uh, the coal is still 64 and it hasn't been changing. So let's have a look at why that is. I think that is literally because we didn't define it properly and we just removed uh, we did not update the inventory. Okay so that's a, at least it does show you what we were trying to achieve um, in the config side where we can configure it and whatnot. So if for instance now I change the config, you won't be able to see this. But I put false now and I reload the server. There we go, reload complete. So now if I um, toggle on and I remove the curl from my inventory, I should still be able to use superheat, there we go. Uh, so now I can still get the stone blocks without the need for curl. So as opposed for the config side, that was all fine. Uh, I think literally we just need to add one more bit of line of code on our listener, which is to update the inventory. But apart from that, I believe we've done okay. So maybe uh, that could be a little task for you to actually try and fix it and make sure it actually removes a curl. Uh, but apart from this, the jaw's concerned, I think that's fine. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, I believe this will be the last part. If you have any ideas um, on what sort of things you'd like to see, maybe you'd like to see something uh, on the databases um, using SQLite uh, or MySQL or MySQL databases um, or anything else you can think of really. Uh, maybe you want to do some more events with uh, players killing stuff or scoreboards or anything you like. Uh, if it's a part of the Bucket API that you're not too sure about what we'd like them to cover, uh, I can cover it. So uh, post some ideas and stuff in the uh, 
description description in the comments and I shall take a look at them and see what I can do. Okay, so thanks for watching this with me. Thank you for Gaming. Signing out.